Real Madrid are in for a busy summer ahead. While the club are expected to undergo a massive squad overhaul, they are also facing pressure to renew the contracts of some of the most established players in the squad. Luka Modric is among the list of veterans, who have their contracts expiring at the end of the season. At the age of 37, there has understandably been a layer of uncertainty over his future at Santiago Bernabeu, especially amid interest from Saudi Arabian entities. The Saudi league has reportedly offered Modric the opportunity to join any club of his choice in the Middle East nation, with a two-and-a-half-year contract worth €40 million Euros per season. But in a recent media interaction, Predrag Mijatovic, former Real Madrid player and close friend of Modric, has backed the veteran Croat to continue at Santiago Bernabeu. When Luka Modric is well, Real Madrid plays much better. His wish is to renew one more year, said Mijatovic, who played for Real Madrid from 1996 to 1999, featuring in 118 competitive matches for the club. Mijatovic's comments confirm recent reports suggesting how Modric is leaning towards a prolonged stay at Bernabeu. It appears the aging midfielder has no desire to accept the lucrative terms coming from Saudi Arabia just yet. The former Tottenham star is confident of his abilities to continue at the highest level for at least another year before he can the next and final step in his career. Since joining Real Madrid in 2012, Modric has featured in 462 competitive matches, racking up 36 goals and 74 assists. His contributions have been crucial to the club's success over the past decade. Whether or not the midfielder is now willing to extend his stay for a further year remains to be seen. Real Madrid manager Carlo Ancelotti has called fear striker Karim Benzema could be set for a lengthy spell on the sidelines as a result of an injury picked up in Thursday's 2-0 win over Valencia. Benzema assisted both of Real's goals early in the second half but wouldn't make it past the hour mark before limping off the pitch with what appeared to be a hamstring injury. With the first leg of their Champions League last 16 clash with Liverpool on the horizon, real fans were immediately concerned about their reigning Ballon d'Or holder, but Ancelotti has moved to allay those fears. Benzema is nothing major, Ancelotti told the media, clearly believing the striker will be back in time to travel to Anfield on February 21. Unfortunately, Ancelotti did have some bad news for real fans concerning centre-back Eda Militao, who appeared to pick up a groin problem in a challenge and had to be replaced midway through the first half. The injury to Militao is more serious. He will not be available at the weekend against Mallorca, Ancelotti confirmed. After Sunday's trip to Mallorca, Real will head to Morocco for the Club World Cup, which got underway on Wednesday and will see Los Blancos join at the semi-final stage alongside South American champions Flamengo. Militao and Benzema are both obvious doubts for that tournament, with both injuries potentially causing major selection headaches for Ancelotti. In defence, David Alaba is also injured and so are full-backs Ferland Mendy and Lucas Vasquez, limiting Ancelotti's rotation options. As for Benzema, Real's lack of depth up top is well known. Ancelotti has not shied away from using Rodrigo in a central role and will likely do so if the veteran Frenchman is unavailable, while Mariano Diaz continues to offer emergency cover. Brazilian star Vinicius Jr. appears to be taking his business elsewhere, and Real Madrid's 2 0 win over Valencia showed as much. Vinicius is in the process of leaving Nike as his sponsor, after reportedly feeling undervalued by the American brand. He does not believe Nike were acting in accordance with his profile, according to Diario AS. Against Valencia, Vinicius spent the first half in all black boots, which obscured the Nike branding. In the second half, Vinicius returned with yellow and grey boots with the famous Nike tick. Puma are reportedly best placed to pick up Vinicius, with Brazil teammate Neymar Jr. their marquee star. Sponsorship is becoming even more important to players, as they become global brands. The partnerships between clubs and fashion brands are illustrative of the buying power that these clubs can hold in markets that were not necessarily thought to be compatible. Several manufacturers are now making shirts that are designed to be used as casual wear too, 